Okay, hey, it's James from Trotec Laser Canada again, and I'm here with my good friend, the Speedmarker 700. What I'm gonna be showing you today is how to mark on pre-built parts. Right here we have an industrial lathed, CNC lathed part that we're gonna be uh, marking on, and I'm gonna show you how to position the graphics properly so they look perfect. So I've measured off this part, and I've typed all of my text all inside of here. So my part numbers and my serial numbers. I've also added a uh, barcode, a 2D barcode, to be placed on this lip. So most of the text is gonna be engraved on this bottom lip, but the customer wants a barcode placed on this lip here. So what we're gonna have to do is engrave this, move the laser head up so it focuses on this part, and engrave here. So let's learn how to position the graphics onto the part. It starts with turning the light off so that we can see our, our red dots. These are our guides to our positioning. So if I just hit F10, you can see some yellow marks on this screen are gonna be turned into red marks on my part. It's gonna be projected onto my part. You can see it blinking there on my hand. I like to use a little piece of paper just to help me with the, sh with the shiny objects just to position the part so that it's perfectly placed. I have yellow lines on each edge of these. So I'm using my piece of paper just to make sure that it's, it's perfectly laid out on the edges. And that's pretty good for, for this sample here. I need to make sure that this barcode is in the right place now. So I'm going to select my barcode, just the barcode, and I'm going to use the border marking of selected graphics only. And you'll see that it projects a red box on here. Now I can use my arrow keys to actually move that, that box around wherever I want it. So I want it right about there. I'm gonna apply. It's gonna move my graphic. And I can just check it again with a border mark. And there you see that's exactly where our barcode is going to be. It looks like we have two ellipses. These are our yellow ellipses that, that give us our positioning of the part. Our text, two lines of text that I've used radial boxes for under graphic. I, on text style, it usually is, defaults as normal. I went to radial box, ra radial text. I uh, did a 1.8 inch radius at a 270 degree angle, which flips it upside down like, like that. So I did that on two of my, my lines. I positioned them just outside of my yellow, my yellow line. And then I have a move axis. This moves the laser up in order to focus the barcode onto the rim there. Next thing I did was I changed the properties of the text from standard to metal engraving. So it's actually going to engrave into here. These are single line text. It's gonna happen really, really fast. Uh, so make sure you're watching. I'm gonna turn my light back on and I'm going to close the door. And so then I just hit F12. Wow. All right, we don't really need to clean this up too much. There's, a, there's some brown oxidation on there. Once we wipe that, that off, you'll see what we're left with is a perfect engraving. So the Speedmarker 700 is a perfect laser for people who have large parts who need to fit the large parts inside the machine. It also comes available with an x-axis so that it moves and indexes the head across your part, giving you a larger surface area to laser engrave on. Thanks for watching. I want you guys to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, please leave your comments below. See you later.